stuck on you. The engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railroad always look forward to special jobs. Then they puff their proudest, puff their hardest, and chuff cheerfully all day. One morning, Thomas was chuffing especially cheerfully. Good morning, Rosie. Sir Topham Hatt has a special for me. Lucky you, Thomas. Today, Thomas, you will be the Sodor Island rescue engine. Thomas puffed with pride. You will work with Butch. Butch is waiting for you at the steamworks. Then you must both go right away to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center and be ready for action. Thomas's boiler bubbled. Rosie was excited too. What does Butch do? He's the Sodor Search and Rescue Center breakdown truck. Fizzling fireboxes. I have to hurry now, Rosie. And Thomas steamed swiftly away to the steamworks. Butch was there. Butch was bright, bold, and brave. He was happy to see Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Butch. What's that on your crane arm? It's a magnet, Thomas. Flat my funnel. Metal things stick to magnets. That's exciting. Let's roll, Butch. Sir Topham Hat wants us ready for action. Thomas pumped his pistons. Butch revved his engine. We must hurry. No delay. We're off to rescue right away. Hold your huffing, both of you. I have something important to say. Wait for the red light. Then you know the magnet is on. But Thomas was too excited to stop. Don't worry, Victor. I know all about magnets. And Thomas chuffed quickly away. Thomas passed Gordon. Then he passed James. Butch has a new magnet. We'll rescue all engines. We're ready for action. Thomas and Butch clattered into the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. I'm the Sodor Rescue Engine today. I'm helping Butch. You're going to have a busy day, pals. Lots to do. We're, We're ready, ready for action. Emergency call just in. You must take those metal poles to Farmer McCall right away. His sheep shelter was blown down. He needs them to build a new one. Butch trundled and tracked to the metal poles. He lowered his magnet. Butch has a marvelous magnet. Rocky and Harold were amazed. Covering helipads. Butch's magnet hovered over the poles, but Butch was worried. Did Victor say my red light should be on? Don't worry about the red light, Butch. You're ready for action. So Butch nudged and budged the poles. They rolled this way and that, but his magnet didn't pick them up. Bother. Then there was trouble. Butch started to bash and crash his magnet too hard against the poles. With a crash and a splash and a sploosh and a whoosh, he knocked the poles right into the sea and next to Captain. Captain was surprised. That's on me broadside. Sorry, Captain. Sorry, Captain. Don't worry, Butch. We can pick up more poles from the yard. But before Thomas and Butch could race to the yard, Rocky had another rescue for them. Emergency call just in. Rosie's wheel is cracked. She needs another right away. Thomas's boiler bubbled. Butch's wheels whirred. Ready, Ready for, for action. action. Butch trundled to a big new wheel. Rocky and Harold watched Butch and waited. Butch was worried. What about the red light, Thomas? Don't worry about the red light, Butch. I know about magnets. You're ready for action. 
So Butch's marvelous magnet swung and swayed over the wheel, but it didn't pick the wheel up. Bother! Now Butch tried even harder with his magnet. He tipped and he tapped so hard against the wheel, it rolled and raced away. It crashed and bashed into Rocky with a clang and a prang. Creaking cranes! Sorry, Rocky. Sorry, Rocky. There's something wrong with my magnet, Thomas. Thomas knew Butch was right. His wheels started to wobble with worry. Then, an idea flew into his funnel. I know, Butch. I'm metal. Let's see if your magnet sticks to me. Grand idea, Thomas. So, Butch drove carefully up to Thomas. Suddenly, the red light flicked on. Thomas didn't see the red light. Neither did Butch. But Butch's marvelous magnet was now working. With a bang and a clang, it stuck tight to Thomas. Lift it off now, Butch. Butch struggled and strained. Then he sighed. I can't lift my magnet from you. I don't know how to. Thomas's firebox fizzled. Neither do I. I am a very silly engine. I thought I knew all about magnets, so I didn't wait to listen to Victor. Now we can't be the Sodor Island rescue engines. Thomas wished and whooshed. Butch revved and rattled. We must go back to Victor, Butch. He will tell us what to do. And this time, I'll listen. Thomas passed Gordon. Gordon grinned and grunted. Mm. Then he passed James. James <laughs> giggled and jiggled. I know I look silly, but Victor will help us. We'll work perfectly. At the Steamworks, Victor couldn't help smiling. What do you look like, my friend? I told you, the red light must be on. Then you know the magnet is working. Thomas rattled his rods. Red light off, Butch. Red light off, Thomas. You see? Now you are free. Ready, Ready for, for action. action. Hurry, my friends. Rescue engines coming through! Thomas and Butch passed Gordon. Rescue engines ready, ready for, for action. action. Farmer McCall thought Butch's magnet was marvelous. Thank you, Butch. Thank you, Thomas. Rosie thought Butch's magnet was marvelous, too. At last, Thomas and Butch arrived at the rescue center. They beamed brightly. Red light on. Ready for action. And everyone whistled and whooped. Kevin the Steamy. On the island of Sodor, all the engines like to be busy. They huff and puff, heave and haul, and lift and lower to be really useful. One morning, the steamworks was very busy. Victor rushed and raced. Thomas and Percy had just been cleaned. They sparkled and shone like the sun. I have to pick up a new boiler for Spencer. Kevin, you will be in charge of the steamworks while I'm gone. Work well. Think hard. Yes, boss. Of course I will, boss. Kevin was excited. He rolled over to Thomas and Percy. Good luck, Kevin. You're the best. Thomas pumped his pistons to puff away. Then, 
he biffed his buffers against a flatbed of oil drums. They bashed and crashed into Percy. Percy was surprised. Flatten my funnel! Then, Percy giggled. <laughs> Biff, bash, bosh, Thomas! Thomas chuffed and chuckled. <laughs> Biff, bash, bosh, Percy! Kevin watched Thomas and Percy's new shunting game. It looked fun. Kevin liked fun. Can I play? Of course you can, Kevin! Biff, bash, bosh! Kevin giggled and jiggled. <laughs> Biff, bash, bosh! Kevin bumped into the flatbed with a clang and a bang. The flatbed tipped off the track. The oil drums rocked and rolled to the ground. Kevin gasped. Heaving hooks! That wasn't supposed to happen. Don't worry, Kevin. But Kevin was worried. He wanted to play the shunting game like Thomas and Percy. I don't have buffers like you steamies, so I can't play the game. Thomas and Percy didn't want Kevin to feel badly. We'll do our jobs, then we'll hurry back, Kevin. So you can try the Biff Bash Bosh game again. That made Kevin feel better. Then... An idea whirred in his wheels. I'll work my hardest to shunt like a steamy. Then I can play Biff Bash Bosh with Thomas and Percy. Just then, Emily wished into the steamworks. Kevin, my buffers need buffing. Of course, Emily. Right away, Emily. Kevin rolled towards Emily. An oil can was in his way. Kevin smiled. Practice makes perfect. Kevin biffed the oil drum. Biff, bash, bosh! It whizzed into Emily's wheels. Fizzling fireboxes. That oil drum has scratched my wheels. Kevin gasped. Sorry, Emily. Didn't mean to, Emily. Slip of the hook, Emily. Be right with you. Then, Spencer steams sternly into the steamworks. I'm here for my boiler. Kevin stuttered and stammered. Of course you are, Spencer. Uh, be right with you, Spencer. Kevin raced around the steamworks, but another oil drum was in his way. Kevin smiled. Fractus makes perfect. Biff, bash, bash! Kevin lift the oil drum. It skidded into Spencer. Rattle my rods. That oil drum has banged under my buffers. Now I can't chuff. Kevin stammered and stuttered. Sorry, Spencer. Didn't mean to, Spencer. Slip of the hook, Spencer. I'll be right with you. Kevin rattled towards Spencer, faster and faster right into another oil drum. The drum rolled smooth and straight. Hooray! Bish, bash, bosh! Just like a steamy shunt! Victor chuffed in. Then there was trouble. An oil drum whizzed and whirled towards Victor and covered him in gloopy goo. Heaving hooks! Victor was upset. Fenders and funnels! What have you done, Kevin? I'm covered in gloopy goo. My wheels are scratched. And my wheels are jammed. Kevin felt terrible. I'm sorry. I wanted to play Biff Bash Bosh with Thomas and Percy, so I was trying to shunt like a steamy but I can't shunt like a steamy, and I didn't look after the steamworks. Just then, Thomas and Percy chuffed back into the steamworks. Hello, Kevin. Are you ready to biff bash bosh? Kevin really wanted to play with Thomas and Percy, but he didn't want to look silly again. He wanted to be a really useful crane. No thank you, Thomas. 
I have a lot to do. So, Kevin carefully lowered a new wheel from his hook. It's new and perfectly polished for you, Emily. Thank you, Kevin. Next, Kevin had to help Spencer. Sorry to keep you waiting, Spencer. I'll have your wheels whirring in a flash of your fender. Kevin's hook whisked the drum high and away. Flickering fireboxes. I can chuff again. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin beamed. He liked being really useful. Now he had to clean Victor. Coming over with the bubbles, boss. But Spencer had to puff past. Out of my way, please. Of course, boss. Uh, Spencer? Kevin trundled to Victor. Here I am, boss. But Kevin, where are the bubbles? Kevin stopped. Kevin stammered. He couldn't see the bubbles. But Thomas and Percy could. They're over here, Kevin. Behind the flatbed. <laughs> Hide and peep. That's a great game. <laughs> Hiding things with your hook is the best game of all. That made Kevin very happy. Soon, Victor was clean and gleaming again. Go, Kevin. Now you are free to play your game. So Kevin hid with his hook. And Thomas and Percy hunted and huffed. <laughs> no steamy could ever hide as well as you can with your hook, Kevin. Kevin jiggled with joy. That's what's good about being a crane. And everyone cheered to that. Hooray! Wonky whistle. It was a beautiful blue day on the island of Sodor. It was the day of the country show. All the engines were busy. Hooting and tooting. Pushing and pulling. To make sure everything was ready on time. Thomas was at the steamworks. His whistle had broken. He had to have a new one. Please hurry, Victor. I want to be puffing perfectly for the country show. All in good time, my friend. Ease your axles, please. Then Sir Topham had arrived. Thomas, when your new whistle is fixed, I have a special for you. You are to chuff to Farmer McCall's farm. He has a trailer of animals waiting to go to the country show. Thomas beamed from buffer to buffer. Puff proudly, chuff carefully, and whistle well. I want you to let everyone know about the country show. Yes, sir. Thomas's pistons pumped with pride. Hurry, Kevin. I have a very special special. I have to tell lots of people about the country show. Doing my best, Thomas. Tricky things, new whistles. Hold your huffing, my friend. Kevin is right. Wonky whistles make strange sounds. We must fit the whistle carefully. You must wait. Workmen, fit the whistle. The whistle is clearly wonky. But Thomas was too excited to wait. I'm sure my whistle isn't wonky. I must race to Farmer McCall. Thomas! But your whistle is... Wonky! Wait, Thomas! He blew his wonky whistle loud and long. Kevin was surprised. Heaving hooks! What was that? But Thomas was pleased. Everyone will hear about the country show now. And Thomas chuffed cheerfully away 
to Farmer McColl's farm to collect the animals. There were ducks for a duck race, Katie the sheepdog, and Farmer McColl's prize cow. Thomas huffed happily. I must hurry. I must go quickly to the country show. Thomas steamed Thomas? swiftly Thomas. away before the farm workers had closed the trailer properly. But Thomas didn't know that. His pistons pumped and his steam swirled. I'll jump to the bridge. There will be a lot of people there I can tell about the country show. There were a lot of people on the bridge. It's Thomas! Thomas was pleased. Yay! Hurry to the country show. Tell your friends and don't be slow. Thomas blew his wonky whistle loud and long. The wonky whistle scared Katie the sheepdog. With a bounce and a bound, she jumped off the trailer. The people waved to tell Thomas. Thomas thought they were waving to say hello. My friends were happy to hear about the country show. Now I'll chuff to Maithwaite Station. There will be even more people there to tell. On the way, Thomas saw Bertie the bus at the level crossing. Bertie the bus has a lot of passengers. I'm sure they'd like to know about the country show. So Thomas blew his wonky whistle loud and long. Hurry to the country show. Tell your friends and don't be slow. Thomas's wonky whistle scared the ducks. With a flap and a flutter, they flew from the trailer. Bertie tried to tell Thomas. Thomas! Thomas! Thomas thought Bertie was hooting to say hello. Bertie was happy to hear about the country show. I must hurry to Maithwaite Station. I know there will be even more people there to tell. There were a lot of people on the platform at Maithwaite Station. So Thomas blew his wonky whistle loud and long. Hurry to the country show. Tell your friends and don't be slow. Thomas's wonky whistle scared Farmer McColl's prize cow. With a bang and a bump, she hurried out of the open trailer. Thomas! The station master tried to tell Thomas. Thomas! Thomas thought the station master was calling to say hello. All the passengers are happy to hear about the country show. Now I must whoosh and weesh. Everyone will be waiting to see the animals. Thomas puffed proudly up to the showground. Fizzling fireboxes. Where is everyone? And where are my animals? The trailer is empty. Thomas was surprised. Then his wheels wobbled with worry. Sir Topham Hatt wanted me to tell everyone about the country show. He wanted everyone to come. But no one has come, and I have lost all the animals. Sir Topham Hatt will be cross. Thomas wished his wonky whistle loud and long. <laughs> Thomas? Thomas saw Farmer McColl shout and wave. Thomas? Thomas! Cinders and ashes. My wonky whistle has scared the sheep. It must have scared the other animals, too. Everyone was waving to tell me that. I am a very silly engine. I should have waited to have my whistle fixed. Now, I must race like the wind to the steamworks. At the steamworks, Thomas waited for his wonky whistle to be fixed. Next, he puffed to the farm to collect the animal's favorite food. Then Thomas started his journey again. Katie the sheepdog liked the bone. The ducks like the seeds. Farmer McColl's prize cow liked the hay. At last, all the animals were safely delivered to the country show. 
the sheep scuttled and scampered. Katie ran to round up the sheep. Now I must tell everyone about the country show. Thomas puffed and chuffed round the island. Hurry to the country show. Tell your friends. Don't be slow. Everyone was happy to hear about the show. And happy to hear Thomas's wonderful whistle. Thomas chuffed back to the showground. His wonderful whistle had worked well. There were lots of people at the country show. Sir Topham Hatt was pleased. You have been a really useful engine. Now I have one more job for you. Yes, sir. I would like you to blow your new whistle to open the country show. Thomas's boiler bubbled. Right away, sir. Thomas blew his wonderful whistle loud and long. The country show was open, and everyone cheered. Even Katie wagged her tail. <laughs>